What's the best microphone to use? We got a nice little unboxing video for you guys of the Astros A10. A booklet, the headset. Boom, look at that. Oh, damn. The 3.5 jack, I'm guessing. I'm not sure if you're able to use other 3.5s. It does have audio control here, so it is sort of specific to this. This end would go into either your Mac, your PC, your switch this thing works on anything let's go ahead and do a mic test the mic i'm currently on is the rode go on my dslr we also have the blue yeti which is by far the most professional microphone you can use for youtube okay let's go ahead and test out this mic audio this is a mic test using the Astro A10 plugged into my PC. I used to have my Blue Yeti plugged in. To change that, you just go into recording and make it into real tech high definition. That's what it's recording with now with the 3.5 jack. The Blue Yeti will always be the best audio choice, the most professional sounding audio choice. It's a little bit loud, so let's go ahead and turn that down. There you go. It's always best to have the best sounding audio and by far the blue yeti will always provide that the blue yeti is for some nice asmr videos this one sounds nice and musty which i'm a personal fan of At this point i can't even play a game dude they all need updates the only reason why i got this it's kind of annoying to have to be close to the blue yeti that's something that has to be set up and you have to be propped around it so this thing's nice because you can move around and your voice is always going to be constantly there as well as this thing does cancel noise so when i'm not talking Noise is completely killed, whereas the Blue Yeti is always going to be picking up that noise. There's always going to be noise in the background using the Blue Yeti, especially if you turn up the gain in it. There are audio programs such as Audacity, where you could actually cancel out some of the background noise. A really big reason why I got these Astros, it does a really good job of canceling out noise. The Blue Yeti is a USB microphone. That's how it connects through the computer, a USB. Slightly more professional rather than just the normal 3.5 jack there's a guy on youtube who would play call of duty videos and his gamer tag was just eating chips and he would just eat chips and i always ask him why are you screaming why are you screaming let's go ahead and plug in the blue yeti this is currently using the blue yeti this is the gain all the way down if you're not trying to get background noise this is where you would have it like i said the blue yeti will always be most professional now it does pick up background noise if i wanted to turn up the volume on the blue yeti it does have a gain volume here now my voice increases and we're gonna go ahead and turn this up all the way up this is all the way up on the Blue Yeti. There are different settings on this thing. It's currently recording from the front side. In this setting, it doesn't pick up all the noise coming from that way, so that's pretty nice. This is the gain all the way up. Of course, you should not have the gain that high. It's always best to keep the gain lowest possible. Turn it up slightly. Yes, the Blue Yeti will always sound best. I also have one of these pop filters, so pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. It blocks all the wind, all the puh, all the t. The A10s does not have a foam tip. This thing, you need a pretty quiet environment for this not to pick up background noise. The Blue Yeti will always be my go to mic when I'm at the desk. That's about it for this one. Hope this video was helpful for anybody interested in the Astros A10s. Not the most comfortable headset, but for the price, since they're so diverse, you could use these on anything. I'm going to have to go ahead and give these a 4 out of 5. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.